What's up guys? Welcome to my September favorites video. It's fall already, but it does not feel like fall here in California. Honestly, I don't know why everyone is so in love with fall. I love summer and I'm sad that summer is going. But everyone's getting all excited for wearing sweaters and having pumpkin flavored everything. So I'm just gonna jump into my favorites for this month. I have one favorite product this month and it's the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I previously was using the Anastasia Brow Pencil and oh man, after trying this pomade, I like it so much more because it's so smooth. It glides on with that brush so well and I like that you can blend it and make it lighter in some areas, darker in other areas. I feel like this pomade and brush combo really gives you more artistic control over what you're painting on your face, on your brows, so I enjoy that a lot more than a pencil. My next favorite of the month is the Marie Forleo interview with Elizabeth Gilbert on her book Big Magic. So if you guys saw my last video, you already know that I got super excited over the Big Magic book and the Magic Lessons podcast by Elizabeth Gilbert. Well, now that I'm over halfway through with the Big Magic book, I can say that the Marie Forleo interview really covers like 80% of the book. I think because I saw the interview before reading the book, I felt like the book wasn't as magical because I kind of already heard this and I heard that and the book was kind of just giving me a review and going more in depth with what they said in the interview. So if you guys are not planning to read the book, then I highly recommend that you watch the Marie Forleo interview, carve out that one hour of time because it'll be so inspiring for your creativity and your life. But if you are planning to read the book, then maybe not watch the interview. I don't know, I'm not sure because I already watched the interview before reading the book and now I can't go back. <laughs> Alright, next up are my favorites in music this month. It is fall so I have a new fall 2015 playlist on Spotify that you guys can follow. I'll put the link below. My first favorite in music is Gavin Turek's album, You're Invited, produced by Toki Monsta. I am such a huge fan of Toki. She has such a distinct and cool style. So her production style mixed with Gavin's soulful vocals is such a great combo. It gets me so inspired and so excited. And honestly, like that female power duo, I look up to both of them so much. Next up, I found myself going back to listening to Sia's album, A Thousand Forms of Fear. I've heard this album before, but I wanted to go back because Sia is such a good songwriter and I wanted to go back and really listen to her lyrics and listen to her music. So there's a deluxe version of her album on Spotify and the piano version of Chandelier came up. And I don't know why, but I had not heard this version before. When I heard it, I was like, oh my goodness. I just, Sia is so raw, she's a true artist and her voice is surprisingly powerful. I think normally her songs have like epic productions so it kind of like, matches the power of her voice, but when it's stripped down and you hear just her voice, it's amazing. I think she's so cool. So I was driving in the car listening to this album and when her first chorus hits in that chandelier piano version, I was like, Ooh. like I made that face to myself because like, it was so, it was so much. It was so much and I was like, oh my goodness, she did it, she went there. So that was really exciting and I've been listening to that on repeat. It's so good. And also, Church just came out with a new album called Every Open Eye, so I'm super excited for that because I just love Church's period. Um, right now, my favorite song off the album is Clearest Blue, but I think I need to listen to the album a few more times to maybe find some new favorites in there. So yeah, you guys can follow my Fall 2015 playlist. I'll be continually adding new music on that playlist throughout this whole season. All right, those are my favorites for the month. Um, a little bit of an update. Obviously, you can tell that I've been really into music this month because I've been spending more time writing and producing music and I'm gonna start recording pretty soon just for myself, just to create and I wanna get on a consistent schedule with music. Also, next month, I'm gonna be traveling to Japan for a couple of weeks with family. So if any of you guys are from Japan or you know the good places to go, let me know. Give me some suggestions and some tips for travel. Uh, I'm gonna be going to Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka and a weekend in Takayama. So I'm super excited for that trip. Um, because of that, plus music, I'm probably gonna be very busy next month. Uh, but life is good. I'm excited. Good things are happening and yeah. 
All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.